Welcome back to Big 12 now on ESPN Plus, where the Oklahoma State Cowgirls are hosting the Mizuno Classic and wrapping up day number two as they welcome in the number 25 Utes of Utah. So it has been a factor and would anticipate with two very good hitting teams, it'll be a factor again today. That one is going to be hit. Naomi slides to her left, can't get there. It'll be taken by Loman in center field, and that'll be a single for Jacobus with five home runs. A swing and a miss, attempted steal. Throw is to the wrong side of the bag. Naomi can't get the tag. Playing on the road is not an issue because they do it so often. That one's going to be hit to Naomi. Naomi's throw to first is can't be caught. Fibri drops it. The run at home is safe. And the runner will advance. Bonstrom will advance to second. There's one hit back up the middle past Everly. That will score the run. And Bonstrom will come around and Castaneda has got an RBI single. Well, I think he's right. I mean, when you're in the number two spot and you're batting, what, almost 400, and you have a ton of home runs. I mean, that says a lot about how she's grown as a player. And that she will draw an error, I am going to presume. So the Cowgirls just their second base runner. That one is hit deep. Fibri trying to tie it up. Fibri at the wall, over the wall. Home run. Fibri knocks it out of the park, and we're tied up again in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Fibri does it again. She was very aggressive hitting the first pitch that came to her. I think she saw what she liked, and she was able to drive that ball. Talked about, you know, these two teams, you can't sit on the lead that you have, no matter how many it is. There's one driven over the head of the left field. That was almost off of Michelle Smith's number and would have been a home run, but Michelle Richburg gets the double out of it. Who's batting 241, and she drives one into center field, and nicely done by Barrera, who is extremely quick, makes the throw back in. The tag, though, as Richburg will go from second to third. To third base, seeing that Barrera was moving away from her. And there's a throw, and that's a mistake there, and... That is going to lead to a run as the Cowgirls, after the throw to home, they don't get the catch. They want to stop the lead run. They did initially, then a bad throw at third, and Michelle Richburg comes home anyway. Builder's choice for Lowman, and that one's going to hit off the wall. Another deep ball for the Cowgirls. Petty has a double, and the Cowgirls have another run, and they've got another runner in scoring position. Neighbors batting 148 left that one travel and that one's going to travel into the outfield despite the speed she's got a double and the Cowgirls will get another run the home plate umpire just about got in the way Chelsea Alexander batting here in the bottom of the order and she hits that one right side it's fair it's a long single and it's an RBI single for Carrie Everly and she is trying to get another one right here. She got number eight against Mercer earlier, number nine, and trying to make it a two home run game, but she will hit that one up the middle, and she will turn two here. And that will score two for Oklahoma State. And wisely, Noskin will throw that to third to hold her up, and there's another two run double for Oklahoma State. How hard can you imagine it's gotta be to get kids to come to Utah to play a sport that's outside like this? Is that's hit up the middle, Busby has got a single and an RBI single. Name was Patrick. When he came back, it was Casey. True story. 3-2. No. That one's hit deep. That could be the ball game. That's going deep. There's a home run birthday story for you. And the Cowgirls have won it 11-2. And Fibri has done it again. I think she's one of those players that you go, I love the transfer portal. I will take it all day long. <laughs> 10 home runs on the season, 29 RBI, and she has just ended this one in the bottom of the six as she hits a two-run shot from Stillwater, Oklahoma, Cowgirl Stadium, and the Mizuno Classic, where the Cowgirls knock off Utah 11-2.